All right. I, I've heard it said many times that only those who matter in this world are accused of something. And accusations in themselves are said to be part and parcel of fame. Now, the Chicago State University CSU has confirmed that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu attended the institution and graduated in 1979 with a bachelor's degree. For a man who won a governorship election twice, would it put paid to the unending attacks by his traducers, Tony? Mention politics, eh? It's tiring. It's draining. Most times, you know, and our people, you know, I've heard um, adages, um, proverbs like, um, I've heard um, people say, if you go into Nigerian politics, be ready, you know, because um, some people will definitely start looking into your history. That's the way we play politics in Nigeria. And at times, it doesn't really help us. Okay, now, this Chicago State University issue that they've been tackling all this while, if, for instance, and they said, it, 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 um, the president, you know, Never attended the Chicago, Chicago State University. What well, does it invalidate his? Um, his, his uh, I mean, invalidate his um, position as a president. His election. His election. Does does it have? I mean, I, I need to. I mean, I stand to be corrected. Does it? Would it, Would that call for fresh election? I mean, the election has come. We know what happened during the election. What we've moved on. For me, personally speaking, the way politicians play their games at times. Because at the end of the day, they are all the same. The one that hurts me most is the way a lot of people told, you know, told that line and they reason like them. Because they straight, eat from the same jacketed. table. Yeah, they eat from the same table and do things together. And, but we want to kill ourselves for them. Because this issue has been talk, spoke, I mean, this is not the first time Chicago mm. State University is talking about it. He said he attended Chicago State mm. University. So what else do we want at this point? <laughs> what, that's the question I get. What else do we want? It? Okay, because tomorrow again, I think it's, um, I think it's, um, um, the presidential candidate of the PDP, um, Elijah Book, Atiku um, Abubakar. Yeah. So if tomorrow, now I, I hope they are satisfied with this, but in case they are not satisfied, and tomorrow again, Chicago State University released the same report, what do we do? For how long are we going to? For me, what I'm interested in now at this point is governance. What will benefit the people? There's, there are cases in court, but they should not divert attention. For me, that is because that is politics being played at the altar of governance. If we want deliverables, they are there now. I mean, APC government is in charge. I mean, it's a new day, and the new administration is saying we can do it. Let's watch them. The court case, let it go. But the noise making and all that is, is what I have an issue with. Whenever he's not speaking for you, <laughs> or is it? I tell you, he has spoken the mind of maybe your mind as many well. Many Nigerians. Mm. You see, um, there's something you're about to say. If I can say it here, they say, "Igiba wologi, uri elamakokogbe." When logs of wood pile, you can't want to access the one underneath without yeah. taking away the one on top. Mm. See, right now Nigerians are hungry. Right now the economy is bad. Right now, people are suffering. And that is what is most important to people. So let politicians play their politics. And leave us alone. And leave us alone. And let Mr. President preside over Nigeria and make life worth living for Nigerians. That is the bottom line. All of this, see, they are all friends. I've seen <laughs> there are cases that... So many years ago, you feel that, oh, this is the end. They end up, they will solve it, they will settle it, they will become their friends again, and they move on. Meanwhile, some people don't break their heads, some families don't break to pieces, some mm. husband if you don't leave wife. So mm. let us face what is, you know, take what, is, what belongs to the back, back burner, to the back burner, and bring what belongs to the front burner, to the front burner. Let's face the, the, the responsibilities because of Because twice, uh, first in 1999 mm -hmm. and second in 2003, mm -hmm. this issue mm -hmm. came up yeah. and they were dealt with. It's not, it's not even putting Nigeria in the right light because yeah. if, okay, now, assuming that... Wait, wait, just a minute. Do you think the Chicago State University can come out with a statement like that uh, if, it if, it, if it were not true? Well, I don't think so, because, um, I mean, it is, 
you will assume that it is in Nigeria that you can do and undo. That was not Nigeria. That was the United States of America. And they have a lot to lose. To lose should they come out with a false information. Yeah. Because we live in, a, in the world of technology. Anyone can access some information. And then if it is not true, then whosoever should go and prove it wrong. <laughs> For me. That he read accounting business uh, and business administration. Um, the president had worked with mobile, mobile uh, producing, you know. And nobody faulted this, saw this. So, that's what I'm saying. That. That's what I'm saying. That. It, this okay. Is, this is, okay, the name is politics. It's, oh, it's politics. Everybody knows it's, he, ah. if The president himself knows it's politics. He's been there for a long time. But we are not talking about uh, his inability to win the election. We're not talking about his academic background. Just as he said, he's been governor of Lagos State for two terms, which was eight years, and president at the moment. There's a case at the tribal now. I think they are heading to opposition. They are heading to, towards the Supreme Court at the moment. So, for me, that should be the focus, and not academic. Because I'm asking, at the end of the day, assuming it goes the other way, what happens? So that is not what Nigeria at this level. That's not what Nigerian politics should be. Take away the president, for instance, from this, and look at others who are vying for even smaller offices. The moment the person comes up, this one, you say, no, I remember, I know his grandfather. He yeah. did this, he did that. Yeah. Just to bring the person down. And it's not about the person not having the ability to even perform in the first place, which to me is uppermost. That is key. Mm -hmm. The ability to perform and not. And the, the person has gone through, I mean, look at this guy. It's, it's like he's going to win. Let's try and see how we can pull him down. Yeah. That pulling down, pull him down sy syndrome is what, what are the against Nigerian politics. And it's not, it's not paying us. Yeah, uh, but let let me rub this in, Ibn Abo. The Constitution, mm -hmm. 1999, as amended, does not say you must be a graduate to be president mm -hmm. or governor. Mm -hmm. You must be. You must have attempted the school certificate. It doesn't even say you must pass. I'm asking that question. You know, How does so, it what, 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 what I feel is we are. So, but, are, but at the same at the same time, mm. if you must flaunt a certificate. It must be genuine. Exactly. Otherwise, you pay the price. They, where, where, where this is supposed to be heading is the fact that you presented a false information. Mm -hmm. And as a leader, you shouldn't do that. It's, it, it, it could disqualify you. So let's leave the court to do whatever they have to do. Mm -hmm. If you're accusing me of something, if you come up with enough evidence, let the courts take yeah. its course. Mm -hmm. but, but in this case, the university has said he attended the school and he graduated. So, 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 so who, who are we to say no? So in case, who is anybody to say no? The university that has been in, you know, in, in the center of it all has come out to say that he was our student in 1979. So, citizen, what do you want to do about that? <laughs> but, but Tony, make I just make make I just ask this question: okay. Is it isn't it time we raise the bar? Mm -hmm. Look, for you to be governor, mm -hmm. to be local government chairman, to be president, you must That's scale this bar. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have to look at our constitution, mm -hmm. look at the books again. I support that because you need to see some people. Because the, uh, uh, yeah, two or three days ago. Some we folks to, lost yes, his election to, yes, because to, of uh, We need to raise the yeah. bar. We need to raise because in other areas, you know, the bar has been raised a long time. But in Nigerian police, they are okay with it, you know, because it benefits them. So over time, not, we need to do something drastically, quickly about it. Otherwise, we'll have people who cannot even contribute to, yeah. nation, to the nation, to, to nation um, the, um, and the country growth in any way. You see them at the national level, a lot of them sleeping. They can't even communicate effectively. Um, because um, we've had it over time, and some people are not, you know, they are not seeing it. And, and some, so there, there are some counter, counter arguments like you would be disenfranchising people. It doesn't matter. We need to, you know, for instance, let, let's be realistic. In, in private sector, for instance, <laughs> there are some things, you, you have some qualifications that you, that, that you expect to get to attain certain position. In Nigeria today, when you hear a senator, you know that respect. Mm. When you look at that person's profile, Maybe a secondary school or a primary school dropout. 
I mean, it doesn't all go well for our development over time. So we need to look into it. No sentiments, but that's the truth. We must do it, right? Otherwise, we, we should just keep quiet. We can make progress if we continue that way. But that's not asking for a state of utopia, if there is any such place. Citizen, <laughs> for me, I agree with that. But have we not come across people who are even holders of master's certificate? Mm -hmm. And they can't really express themselves. Mm, that's and awesome. they, 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 sometimes you wonder, who, who, who are your lecturers? How did you pass through the university? Mm. So you see, there are, but, and there are some... At, at that point, are we not to blame? Because we have become mm -hmm. what I normally would call an over-certificated environment. So you see, as much as we should be looking into that, I feel that if you to balance it. There, there, there is more to governance. There are people that... They are, not, they are not graduates. They are very intelligent. Oh, yeah. And they run their businesses perfectly well. And they will tell you, I will employ you. You will work for me. I will tell you what to do. So the bottom line You here, want me to mention some, some, <laughs> some, some of my, the bottom my former line for me bosses is, is, who were not graduates have, but were do you crack have, broadcasters. No, yes. politics, we need them. In uh, Nigerian politics, we need because I think rather, state, rather, state, rather what I'm looking at, what I'm looking at, whether you have a school certificate, school set, um, whatever, or you have your masters or your BSc or your PhD, mm. there has to be a school, a school where you learn the tutorial on how the, the art, yeah, the of art governance. of leadership, the art of governance. That is what is lacking for me. It's not totally about your certificate now. Because we have them there. I know, I know a few of them who are graduates. Mm. And they will go there and they will become sleepy <laughs> and contribute nothing to the development of the, of, of the country. So let's, there should be a school. Do you know they are, they are, they are listening to you? I'm, I'm being honest. Okay. There should be a school where before you qualify to become, to contest for any of these offices, you would have gone through the school. Like, let's take, for instance, in Ogun State. Mm. They have um, a school, um, community development school, where you attend, and then they teach you how to... You are groomed. The, 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 the rudiments of leadership. Yeah. You understand? So there should be such at the national level, so that people will go there and understand that because you are a member of the House of National Assembly does not mean that people should be at your mercy. You are there to serve. Teach them. Let them know that they are to serve Nigerians. They are not there to go, to go and, like when people say, go and be forming boss. No. Mm. It is all about service to Nigerians. Even as a president, even as a governor, it is about service. All right. Tony, we want to take it home now. Uh, the Chicago State University, CSU, has confirmed that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu graduated from the institution in 1979. Mm -hmm. So the hue and cry about that, you think should end? It's supposed to, ordinarily should end. But Nigerian politics, I mean, I see, as, I've gone to Twitter, I've seen the social media, I mean, today, I've seen what's going on there. That's why I said, I said, our brand of politics is what I have issues with. The school said, he graduated from the school. So how are we going to argue it? Which court you want to go? I mean, what is the issue here, for instance? The issue is that you didn't go to the school. The school, the school is not coming out to say, otherwise we would have released, but the federal law doesn't permit us. So what else do we want? Let's be realistic. We not like the individual, but the school has said it. So can we just let this matter slide? That's my opinion. The, the school, because, okay, apart from the school, where, where else are we going to go? They said Where he graduated else? in school in, 20, um, in 1979. And, I mean, and, if I go to, and they said, I mean, I, I, okay, I should challenge the school. He said, you're, you're lying. I mean, I should challenge the school. I said, you're lying. Do I have the evidence? The school is saying, we have. We, he schooled here with us. And he left the school. He been about, you are not swayed by a gentleman who came out, politics, uh, I think, Nigeria last week, to say he was a, a classmate of the president at the school. Why would he come out if it wasn't true? Because you see, as much as we know that a lot of things, things so many things are possible in Nigeria. That's in I the am. name of politics? 
whatever name you give to it. But for anyone to come out and say they were classmates, do you know what you are doing? You know what you are putting yourself out there for? Mm. You're not Mr. President. So, you, you, I mean, if you don't have your facts, if, you, if there are no witnesses, if you are not able to bear witness to the fact that, yes, you attended that school, and you are now confirming that President Bola Metinumbo attended the same school with you. In fact, his own, his own, him coming out, I'm not even as moved as the university. Because if you have a case against anybody, how do you win a case without facts, without evidence? Mm. So the evidence that we are all wait, we were all waiting for was for the school to come out and say, "Ah no, he was never a student." Yeah. But the school came out and said that he was once their student. Even if I don't like Mr. President, for example, but, 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 even but, if but, I'm but standing know, against him, I can't but, do anything. Yeah, but you, know, you have any facts. Uh, but you know for a fact that my countrymen, your countrymen and women, are fastidious, not easily swayed. See, because... everybody has a right <laughs> to believe what they want to believe. <laughs> Everyone was waiting for what university... CSU. was going to say yeah. and they have come out to confirm that he was once their student and he graduated in 1979. I don't know what I'm going to continue to drag mm. again. I don't know what I want. It's, what evidence do I, I have against that? I think it's just, against that. It's just because it's, the person in question is the person. You don't have time to waste. Mm. Otherwise, I don't, it won't drag too long like this. I mean, it's just about the personality. The school said he graduated from this school. This is not the first time mm. we've had presidential election in this country. Buhari came, we had the same issue. And after a while, yeah. the issue is in court right now. Can we just focus? That's just, because go online, that, that's what you hear. I mean, mm. this school is now coming out to say he schooled with us and he left us in 1970. Can that, can that put weight so, to this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I, I hope that every agitation would end as as it is. Otherwise, uh, Ibn Abu and Antonio, we'd, I don't know what else mm -hmm. anybody else wants mm -hmm. at this stage.